Hi, I'm Stephanie Laska. I lost 140 pounds and created Dirty Lazy Keto. Thanks for joining me here on the YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and enjoy the show. We are talking today about when you have a lunch keto salad to go. What is going to go inside? A lunch keto salad to go. What are you going to put inside? Anyone want to share? Please give me a thumbs up if this is a topic you're kind of interested in. Thumbs up if you need some new lunch ideas for keto. That's better. Because maybe you're looking for something new. You want to try something fresh. Maybe you just want some ideas about lunch to stay motivated. But today's keto lunch salad to go episode is going to give you plenty of mealtime inspiration. So give me a thumbs up if you're kind of looking forward to it and you are in the mood to learn some new stuff. Because by the end of the episode today, you are going to finish with four new recipes, four complete new ideas for you. That way you can be making your lunch keto salad to go right off the bat. Super easy, super fun, super simple. I love the word super. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started now. Are we ready? We got everything? Should I put my glasses on and make sure that you're all here and paying attention? I'm looking forward to seeing who's putting a thumbs up out there. Who's got the thumbs up? Okay, I'm watching. <laughs> now remember, you can participate in the comments, but no one can see your face, so you can feel brave. Don't be shy today. I want you to get involved. Um, you can just see me. So let's get started. I want to let you know real quickly, though, the inspiration for these four lunch keto salads to go came from all the traveling I was doing this summer. Now, I was walking around different airports because I always wear my tennis shoes when I'm traveling, and I was walking around LAX. I was walking around Philadelphia Airport. I was walking around Chicago O'Hare. And in all three places, I found the coolest thing in the wide world. I'm always on the lookout for keto-related items. And I found a salad vending machine. No joke, a lettuce salad vending machine. And it was super affordable too compared to, you know, some of the other options that were at these airports. So I'm curious if you've seen them at your airport or where you've been traveling or if you've tried one. I thought it was so random. And just to clarify, these salads that were in a vending machine, they were not like in a clamshell. They were not in a to-go container like this, like a black, you know, disposable one like this or white. But they were instead, this is what made it kind of fun and interesting, they were instead in a jar. The salads were in these huge jars, kind of like a ball type jar with a lid screwed on tight. And they were all lined up and pretty and cute. And it was all like touchless, doot, 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 like no human. And I decided to have to give this a try. I mean, I was a little skeptic. I'm like, well, how is this going to taste? But I had to give it a try. And boy, was I surprised. Woo! This is a complete home run. So I'm going to give my bat and a swing. Yes, I'm cheesy. Yes, I know. But it was home run out of this park. Now I'm addicted. Every time I travel, the first thing I do is go to the airport and start running around looking for my uh, salad vending machine because I have a favorite and I'm very excited about this. And I hope that more healthy things will be coming to airports that are affordable just like it. Now, the concept of what I'm going to be sharing today, this is a healthy lunch on keto to go, is based off of what I saw at the airport because I just fell in love. And basically, it was a large jar. Now, it could be glass, could be plastic, whatever you got at home. At the airport, it was plastic, kind of like the size of a super peanut butter jar. Okay, So you could find this at home. Don't have to go buy anything. Just wash out maybe something you already have. Or if you have a glass one, that works too. Um, or you could probably do like a small one if you wanted to. I am going to try to mimic what I saw at the airport. And they used the big one. So if you have like a giant glass ball jar at home, you could use that. Or you could go to a thrift store and find one. You can if you wanted to use a small bell jar like this. Um, and what you would do in that instance probably is pour it into a bowl after um, you make it and you're ready to eat it. But either way, either way, it's going to work. I promise you, whatever you have available, it's going to work. And this is what you're going to say. You're going to go, bam! <laughs> you're going to say, this is amazing. This is fantastic. I am so excited. You are going to be thrilled. So I'm going to go through four examples and four different types of salads that you can make in the same way. Now, how, the concept how this works, just to give you some uh, general directions before I get out all my ingredients, is... You're going to put your wet stuff 
first into your jar. So wet stuff at the bottom. Wet stuff is going to probably be like your salad dressing, okay? Anything that's wet, put it in first. Now, if you don't believe me or you're like, I just don't know about this stuff thing, you can always put it in a separate container. I understand. You might be like, I don't want to ruin my salad. Okay, you may not be brave enough the first time, but you could put your dressing in a separate container. I'm showing you a small Tupperware. Sometimes that works too. Or you could do both if you need a little extra. Nothing wrong with that. So you're going to fill in your dressing or your wet stuff at the bottom first, followed by some kind of sturdy, low-carb, keto-friendly vegetable. I'm holding up a cucumber here because cucumber slices come to mind. It's going to act as a barrier. So you've got your wet stuff, then you're going to have some sturdy, low-carb, keto-friendly vegetable. Then you're going to follow that up with some kind of protein of your choice and pack it, lastly, with greens. The greens are going to act as another barrier so things aren't moving all about. And this fruit works quite a bit better, let me tell you, than using Tupperware. Because you might be thinking, well, why am I doing this? Why am I getting a bell jar? Why am I getting a plastic jar? I have Tupperware, Stephanie, it works fine. Well, the reason why this works so much better than Tupperware is in Tupperware, it moves all around, it smushes, the wet stuff mixes, you know, cheeses get wet, things get all mushy and weird. This way, you're going to keep all your ingredients fresh and separate. Separate but together, if you will. So trust me on this one. It's totally worth giving a shot. I was, I was suspicious, I gotta tell you. Um, but I am a firm believer now, and I just love it so much. Now, at the very top of your, or last ingredient that you're going to be putting into your, your bell jar or your salad jar is going to be like your topper, so to speak. And toppers could be like, you know, your faux keto-friendly croutons or nuts or something that might give it a little crunch. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to give you four examples. So we're going to get started right now. Because you're all like, oh, what is she talking about? Let me, let me visualize this. Okay. Let's get started with four examples. All right, so first up, I got my bell jar here. I want to make a chicken Caesar salad with you, okay? Now, you don't have to be all fancy. You can just go to the grocery store and pick yourself up a creamy bottle of Caesar dressing. You don't have to make it, although I will teach you how in just a second. So here is a good one. I love Girard's Caesar salad. It's a one net carb per serving, which is in general, for a salad dressing, two tablespoons. Clearly, that's not enough for me. I'm going to probably need a double serving, so that's going to be two grams of net carbs. Do you have a favorite Caesar salad dressing? Do you want to share a brand or a style? Let us know in the comments. Now, the next thing I'm going to in put in my ball jar after I put a little salad dressing is, ready for this one? I'm reaching in my bucket here. I'm going to be putting in some cheese of my choice. Now, what I like to do with this chicken Caesar salad is use Parmesan, Romano, and Asagio cheese blend. Shaved, not shredded. I like the shaved, thick farmer's cut because it holds up really nicely. And it tastes so good. Sound good to you? You're going to try this? going to try this? Next, I'm going to be putting in some chicken. Now I've got a little cheat moment here. Here's my version of cheating on the keto diet. <laughs> what am I holding up here? Can you see? It smells very good, everybody. I swung by Costco yesterday and got my staple, which I get once a week, because this is the lazy keto diet, people. Take shortcuts. This is a seasoned rotisserie chicken from Costco, which is so affordable and so tasty. And I'm going to pull off some of this chicken, shred it up, and then stick it in my ball jar. Right on top of that chicken, I'm going to be adding. You ready for this? You ready for this? Some delicious lettuce. Some romaine lettuce. And I've got this all chopped up, fresh, ready to go. I also get this at Costco. Very affordable. You can get a whole sleeve of ears of romaine for like a few bucks. Outstanding. And they stay fresher longer than a lot of the other leading brands. So give that a try, even if you're on your own shopping at Costco. I do have a whole video on Costco keto favorites, and I can link that up next because that is a lot of good tips. I love shopping at Costco and keto. The last thing I'm going to stick in my ball jar on the very top, I call that the topper, is going to be the Parmesan crisps because I have to have a little crunch. Here's what I'm talking about. These are Parmesan wisps cheese crisps. 
That's a lot to say, three times fast. But this is gonna add a nice like crouton type crunch to your Caesar salad. We're not doing croutons, although you could. I'm going to use these instead. So what do you guys think about that? Was that simple? How many ingredients do we use? Who's counting? <laughs> but not too much, right? We put some dressing in the bottom or we put it on the side, it was up to you. We put in some shaved cheese, that was pretty simple. The Romano blend, which I set down somewhere as I was chit-chatting. Where did it go? Oh, fell on the floor. Oh, it's always kind of fun cooking in my office. So after we did the dressing, we put in the shaved cheese, then we added some of our rotisserie chicken from Costco that we shredded, and then we put in lots of lettuce, romaine lettuce, and then we topped it on the very top of the ball jar with some Parmesan crisps or wisp, cheese wisps. That's optional. You can customize this as you like, but that's essentially the bottom line of how to make that salad. Was, do you have any questions about that or did I go too fast? You're like, no, that was simple. That was our first recipe. I know, right? And if that's time, I can build it all for you. But I think that you'll be eager to spend our time together moving on to the next example. So tell me your favorite salad on the keto diet or in general. Tell me a salad tip. Tell me a salad trick. Put that in the comments and you might win a prize. So I'm gonna take a second while you're all typing and sharing. Because you all wanna win a prize, don't you? And we're gonna spin the wheel. Here we go. I gotta move a couple of these items. I got a lot going on here. A lot going on. I got cucumbers, I got the dressing. Here we go, let me turn this toward you so you can see as we spin the wheel. And I'll pick at random from the comments. At random, I know, more than one person usually. And I do it at different points in time, like today, in a month, next week, in six months. I like to kind of mix it up and surprise people. And today's prize is going to be a Dirty Lazy Keto fridge magnet. I'm going to reach over here and find one to show you. If I can. Oh, I think I got moved here. Oh, here it is. Dirty Lazy Keto fridge magnet. This is the pyramid, the recommended way I share to maximize your weight loss in Dirty Lazy Keto. And this is how I spend, you know, my little daily carbs. That's how I spread them out to maximize my weight loss. And it's what I recommend in all the books. So you can find this pyramid in all of your copies of Dirty Lazy Keto and Extra Easy Keto. And if you'd like to win a magnet free, I'll mail it straight to your house. Out of the kindness of my heart, there's no people, no publisher, there's no team, just me doing this and my husband who waits in line. So if you want to win, put that in the comments and tell me why, how, I don't know, anything you want. That'll be our fun. And you can still participate even if you don't want to win a prize. So that's that. Now let's, I mentioned to you earlier that in our first recipe, you can just buy your own Caesar salad dressing. But another thing you can do, which is fun, is to make it at home. Make it at home. I have a very quick homemade Caesar salad recipe I will run through with you today. And if you don't want to take notes for this wonderful homemade Caesar salad recipe, you can find it word for word in your copy of the Dirty Lazy Keto five ingredient cookbook. It's on page 79 is this recipe. So if you don't feel like taking notes, just open up your copy of the Dirty Lazy Keto five ingredient cookbook and go to page 79 in the book. The recipe is called, there's no picture, so you might have missed it the first time you read the book, but it's called Downpour Parmesan Dressing. Downpour Parmesan rest Dressing. And I'll run through it real quickly with you right now. So this recipe serves 12 people. 12 people. Seriously, more like you with a double serving six times, right? Does that say 12? Or does that say 12? I think it's that way. So just so you know, the recipe does make quite a bit and has one gram net carb per serving. So it serves 12, one gram net carb per serving. That means the whole recipe makes how much? I know, you're like, this is lazy keto. Why is she asking me math? That's the easiest math question you're ever gonna get. Did anyone say 12? Because 12 is correct. One gram net carb per serving, it makes 12 servings. If you have more than one serving, you're gonna have more than one carb. Just count it per serving. Um, okay, so here's the ingredients that you're gonna need to whip this up. Ready, Freddy's? First thing you're gonna need is three quarters cup full fat mayonnaise. 
put that in a medium sized bowl. Three, four, three fourths cup full fat mayonnaise. Put that in your medium sized bowl. Full fat everything on the keto diet, right? Don't be messing around with that low fat business. You're also going to need a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Looks just like this in the sprinkles. Yes, you have that half cup. You're also going to need three tablespoons of 100% lemon juice. You can make it fresh or from concentrate, it's up to you. Next, you will require one tablespoon of, I can never say this word, Worcester sauce. Can you say it? Worcester sauce. Hopefully I said it right. One tablespoon of this good stuff. Add a little kick, a little flavor to your Caesar dressing. And you are also going to need, reaching in here for all my goodies. Oh, so much going on in here. Oh, I think I might have put it in the next, oh, where did it go? Uh, you are going to need one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, which I have somewhere in my bucket, but I can't seem to see it. Might be uh, hiding behind something, but that's one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then you're going to need some, oh, wait, here it is. I knew it was hiding behind something. Here's my Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and then one eighth teaspoon salt and one eighth teaspoon ground black pepper. Now all those things go in the same bowl and then you just stir. That was easy, right? That was easy and fast. Can I give that recipe a gold star for being so simple? Again, you can buy your Caesar dressing, but this was recipe two for you, two out of four. I wanted you to have a quick way that you could make it from scratch yourself. Um, and that might even taste better to you, right? And then you're like, bam, moving on to the next recipe. We're doing good today, right? We're having fun. So again, those directions were just stir to combine all those ingredients in that medium bowl. And of course, since it has mayonnaise, you want to be sure to refrigerate that dressing until you're ready to serve it on your salad. So let's move on to the third recipe that I'm sharing today about keto salads to go. This is the third one. And this is a spinach salad. Now, I want you to use a big ball jar, right? We, we covered that. The big ball jar, the big plastic jar. And I'm not sure if I shared with you guys why. Why you need to do that. You're like, I don't know. Why? Well, A, you'll get more food, which is super important, right? I'm a big eater. And number two, this one you may not have thought of, because it made me go, oh, these people are so genius. Getting your fork in there to eat your food is very important. So if you have a teeny tiny jar like so, may not be as easy to reach in there and get all your food. Plus, you want more to eat. So the fork issue is important. Um, makes sense, right? So I'm putting on my gloves because I'm going to be touching some food here. But we want to get our big jar, our big ball jar, whatever you got. And then we're going to go ahead and get our ingredients out. Remember how we start off by adding what first? Remember? Did you put it in the comments? Who's paying attention? Yes, yes, yes. You're going to add your wet stuff first. So that is going to mean your salad dressing. Now I've got a bunch of ingredients here that I'm gonna hold up, and that's gonna be our second is going on after the, the dressing. So dressing first, and if you wanna skip that, that's fine. You can also do that little side note. Here's a side dressing, if you're so inclined. This is a ranch. But start off by putting your dressing in first, and then we're gonna be putting in our ingredients. Oh, I'm opening this big platter of goodies. You see, I picked this up at Costco again, one of my favorite stores, and it just has so many of the great ingredients that we're going to be talking about today. And I'm going to be sharing this with my family. It'll feed us for dinner as well as making some of these keto salads to go. So I decided that was a win, 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 triple win. Because I'm feeding the family, feeding the family, feeding myself, getting dinner ready, getting lunch ready. Forgive me, it takes me a second to get the lid off here. All right, perfect. I'm gonna put this little platter in my lap in case I drop anything here in my office. It's a lot easier for me to share the podcast and the video and the, all this good stuff here because then no one messes with it and I can lock the door. 
if it's in my kitchen, it has a way of disappearing. My family comes by and helps himself. So I'm gonna put my ingredients in first, right? We did our salad dressing, which you can do separately or together. Here we go. Putting in our salad dressing. Da, 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 da. Got a lot, a lot going on over here. Next, we are going to add, what are we adding next? Sturdy vegetables. So in this case, I'm gonna be adding some baby tomatoes because they're nice and sturdy. And, here we go. I'll add some onion slices or chopped onion. See how it's creating a barrier? That way these things are gonna stay fresh and separate. Keep going a little bit. I love cherry tomatoes, aren't they fun? We're growing them in our garden this year. So good. Next up, I'm gonna be adding some onion. The purple onion is so pretty. But of course, you could add sliced or diced. Also green onion too. Green onion has the lowest amount of net carbs, which is good to know out of all the onions. Don't deny yourself onions just because some of them are higher in carb. They add so much flavor. Um, and after our sturdy vegetables, you might want to add something else, not just listed here. But then we're going to move on to our layer of protein. And in this case, what I have available is some eggs and also cheese. And the eggs are already ready to go. So I'm just going to reach over here and grab the eggs. And then next, I'm going to reach and grab a whole bunch of cheese. Love cheese. Full fat, of course. Now, notice I did not grab any of the raisins, which were in the Costco salad. For me, raisins are going to be way too high in carbs. I'm going to skip over those altogether. You do you, but that's how I'm doing my spinach salad. Um, then I'm going to pack in a whole bunch of my greens, which are, like we discussed, spinach. Already washed, prepped, ready to go. Shove it on in there. And be very liberal with your greens, right? Perfect, and I'm shoving it in there. Isn't it pretty? It looks so nice. Now my topper is my final thing to add, and that is gonna be, in this case, bacon. And the bacon's already ready to go. Thank you, Costco. Love you. Do you have any ideas for what else you could add as a topper besides bacon? If you do, please put it in the comments. And voila, that is it. I should go. That was easy. And the final step is going to be just, of course, to put on a lid and then put this in the refrigerator. Now that's it. Are you pretty excited about this type of keto salad to go? So easy, right? And then you would go ahead and repeat. You could make several of these for your lunch this week. I like to make them about three days out because that's what I feel is safe um, for refrigerating my food. But you might have a different version or a different makeup of how you're going to make your salad here. So I encourage you to be fun and flexible and create some kind of different items, right? Especially with that rotisserie chicken. Be so easy. So easy. Now, before we move on to our fourth recipe, because I promised there was going to be four today with our lunch keto salads to go, I want to just pause for a second and remind you about the benefits of what we're doing here. Because you might be like, oh, this is kind of silly. We're making salads, we're putting them in jars. Seems weird. Why are we going to all this trouble? But let me help you or help remind you about the importance of what we are doing here because it's more than maybe what will at first meets the eye okay now recently dirty lazy keto extra easy keto one of our members was featured on the very cover of women's world i know check her out this is sherry age 68 lost so much weight she's a grandmother and she looks so healthy and happy and that tagline for the main article is can't stick with keto you see that in red letters it says can't stick with keto and there's Sherry in the background. And the reason why some people can't stick with keto, in my opinion, is that some of them are making it too complicated. Does that sound familiar? Now, Sherry obviously didn't. She got the hang of it, and she read Dirty Lazy Keto, Get Started. She read Extra Easy Keto. She has all the cookbooks, right? She's practicing this lifestyle, and she gets it. She's not making it so hard. She's making it simple. Now, just like Sherry did, on the cover of Women's World magazine. I worry that you might make 
be making it too complicated. And that's why I'm trying to enjoy a little fun today, make it kind of silly. I don't want you to feel like meal planning is this huge puzzle. Like you're like, oh, you know, here's my Rubik's cube. It's so complicated. I can't seem to make it perfect with the fat percentage and the protein percentage and the this and the net carb and how many of this and how many of that. A lot of people get really worked up over the numbers and the preciseness of keto. And I really feel like there's a different way, a different approach that is going to benefit you more. Now, I talk about this a lot in Extra Easy Keto. So if you have a copy, you know what I'm talking about. But there's a whole section on meal planning where I break it down into just three concepts. And there's worksheets, there's cheat sheets, there's tricks, there's tips, there's recipes, there's suggestions. And I teach you how to make it extra easy and build your meal plan so that there's no stressful, puzzling numbers. It just fits. And you're like, oh, why didn't I do this all along? Why did I do this all along? And these are the tips and tricks. These are the suggestions, the personal stories that helped me personally to lose 140 pounds and keep that weight off now for almost a decade. Crazy, right? And basically what we're talking about here, before we get to the fourth recipe, is I want to teach you tics, trip, bit, 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 tricks and tips for how to make meal prep fast and healthy. Fast and healthy. Now, I know that you can go, you know, to fast food. I know you can do those kinds of shortcuts, but I feel like there's other shortcuts that we can all learn from each other where we can keep our meal prep on the keto diet fresh and healthy, right? And, but yet simple and simple and easy. So tasty and fresh. It can stay in the fridge for a few days. You're not like stressed out running to a restaurant or fast food at the last second. And you're not wasting food because that's another big issue, right? People think, I don't want to make a special meal for myself, you know, and then what if I don't like it or my family doesn't like it and I'm throwing food away? I feel like I'm going to give you a lot of tips and tricks for less waste. So you're not, this is a little trash can. Isn't that funny? Um, I don't want you wasting food. I want to teach you how to make delicious recipes and meals that your whole family can enjoy and that you're not wasting food. You're making the magic happen. It's less stressful. You're not wasting time. Um, it also helps take the guesswork out of what to have for lunch, what we're talking about today, making these little meals and snacks ahead of time, talking about these ways to sh take shortcuts, products to buy at Costco or the grocery store like rotisserie chicken or pre-made ingredients. These are things that can help you stay on track and have fun. I think having fun is an important part of Dirty Lazy Keto. I'll put on my fun hat here. Some people think I'm goofy, like Stephanie's crazy, her podcast, her, her recipes, her books. Yes, maybe I am, but I want to make you have a little bit of fun and smile and not feel like this is some kind of punishment. I think we can have a good time while learning to eat healthy and stay on track and laugh a little and be goofy because there's no reason we should feel ashamed or negative or disappointed or sad, right? This is a healthy way of eating that's gonna give you more energy, give you a new way of eating that helps your skin, that helps you get on the floor and play with your grandchildren, that is gonna help you sit in airplane seats comfortably, help you walk up and down the aisle of an airplane without feeling like you have to go sideways, sit in a movie theater without having to deal with the armrest. These are things that I've dealt with in the past and it's stressful and sad. And I don't want that to be your experience. I want you to be able to lose weight, have fun, be on the keto diet, learn, have community, share with one another, and, you know, and have a good time doing it. Because the weight loss shouldn't be hard or sad or stressful. So that's my little public service announcement for you. Let me know if you agree. Do you agree? We're going to move on lastly to our fourth recipe. And this is a fun one. It's taco salad. Was anyone thinking of that? That's, a, that's an easy one to make, right? Let's talk about the taco salad. Now, what ingredients might you put in your taco salad? Now, if you were starting off your taco salad, I'm going to push this out of the way. Don't be alarmed. Big noise. There it goes. So you're going to start off with your wet ingredients, right? Your dressing is going to go first. Now, what I might put in my bottom of my jar is I might start with some hot sauce. Are you guys a hot sauce people? Who likes it hot? Who likes it hot out there? I do. I like a little flavor, and I'm going to be mixing some of my hot sauce with full-fat sour cream. Sound good? That'll add a little flavor, make my own little mini salad dressing. And I also might add, thanks to my husband teaching me how to eat this way, I'm going to add some fresh salsa. I really like green, but I also like red. But anyway, these all three together make a wonderful salad dressing. Do you have any tips for Mexican food or 
low carb salsa dressing? Let us know in the comments. I appreciate it. And set these down. I definitely don't want to throw my um, salsa container in the bucket because it might spill. And I'm in my office with carpet. Um, so after I do my wet stuff in the bottom of my jar, then I'm going to layer it up with some sturdy vegetables. Now, sturdy vegetables that come to mind, we talked about onion. So you could do your green onion, your red onion or purple onion slice or little rounds. You could do some fresh cilantro, a layer of fresh cilantro. Oh, I love the way this smells. Oh, yeah. Love it. Buy it every week at the grocery store. Rinse it, and I keep it in a Ziploc with a paper towel. It stays a lot fresher. But make a barrier of your wets by using some um, fresh cilantro, some fresh onion. You could also chop up some bell pepper, yellow or green or red. Do you know which one of these? Green, red, or yellow has the fewest amount of net carbs? Do you know? Put it in the comments if you know. Maybe you'll win a prize. Let us know. I'll tell you in a second. And after you do your sturdy vegetables, uh, we talked about bell pepper, onion. You could also do tomato. Let me reach in here. I have a tomato example to hold up, to hold your attention. So slices of tomato. You could also do the cilantro, perhaps some more onion cut up. This is purple onion here. And let's not forget about our reaching in while talking, avocado slices. That would be a nice addition to your food. And here's the avocado hole. Here it is already pre-sliced. My husband's the best at slicing, slicing those up. What else are you thinking for your taco salad? Are you chiming in with ideas? I hope so. Um, what about jalapeno? Is anyone a jalapeno fan? Slice up some fresh jalapeno. Sound good, right? Delicious. So all of these hearty vegetables can create a nice barrier between your sour cream or, or salsa dressing. And then before we get to the next ingredient, which is going to be your taco meat. So your flavored taco meat, maybe it's leftovers from last night's dinner. Um, I pulled this out of the freezer. Sneaky, right? I always have a little leftover, so I'll save it. Um, so layer it up with your protein. In this case, I'm using ground taco meat already pre-seasoned. And then I'm going to stuff, stuff, stuff my ball jar, my taco keto salad to go with more lettuce. You could also use cabbage. Cabbage also makes a great filler or a mix of the two. I'm going to top mine, my taco salad, with some shredded Monterey Jack cheese. And I'm also going to share, I don't think I brought it upstairs here in the studio, but olives would be another nice one. So which one of those ingredients sounds the best to you or is your favorite Mexican ingredient? Let me know in the comments. Is it tomatoes? That's my husband's. Or jalapeno. He loves them both. I probably love avocados the most. And who got the correct answer for a bell pepper? Which color bell pepper is the lowest or fewest number in carbs? Is it red? Is it orange? Is it yellow? Is it green? If you wrote green, you got it correct. So good job to you. Good job, good job. Green has the fewest amount of net carbs per serving green bell pepper. So gold star to whoever got that right. Now, which of those four salads, we shared four today, which of these four salads do you think you would be most likely to make this week? Well, we did three salads and one dressing. Which one of these recipes do you think that you might make or try this week? And which one are you going to put in your lunch pail? I didn't even mention the benefit of how convenient it is that these ball jars take up not so much room in your backpack or in, in, or in your lunch pail. They're really fun to eat. And they just look pretty. They get you excited. Um, so by the way, I know you saw my lunch pail here. This is a Dirty Lazy Keto lunch pail. And you can order in various colors on, I have a merch, little merch store with aprons and water bottles and sweatshirts and fun odds and ends on my website. You go to dirtylazyketo.com forward slash merch. M-E-R-C-H. DirtyLazyKeto.com forward slash merch. M-E-R-C-H. Lunch pails, water bottles, mugs, all sorts of fun stuff there. No books, so it's just kind of merch and fun. T-shirts, tank tops, aprons, that sort of thing. So now, you guys, you have four recipes that are really fun to try. 
all for lunch keto salads to go. Now, don't you forget about dessert before you start thinking you're done for the day. Um, I do have a video I'm going to link up next. It's all about how to make these amazing, hello, beautiful, <laughs> these amazing and delicious chocolate keto brownies. See it here in the picture I'm holding up? Oh, yeah. And they taste just as good as they look. And this recipe is part of um, the Dirty Lazy Keto No Time to Cook cookbook. And I'll teach you how to do this recipe in the next video. The next video it is on. The video will be on YouTube. So you will be heading over to YouTube to watch this next video. Chocolate Keto Brownies. It'll be the next video. And be sure to subscribe when you're there because the videos, I have new ones coming and going every week. On, um, on the weekends, every Sunday, usually at 9 a.m., I add a new video. So be sure you subscribe when you're on YouTube. Are you excited, you guys? I didn't hear a lot of excitement in the comments. I want to see it. Can you write, I'm excited, Stephanie. Let me know which of these recipes you're going to try. Let me know what new ideas you have, too, or little tweaks. Or if you've done this before, let us know what helped, what worked, what little tricks that you had to make this easy and delicious. I mean, the bottom line is, folks, here's the bottom line. I want to make it extra easy for you. I want to support you every step of the way, whether it's in one of the Dirty Lazy Keto cookbooks, whether it's in the seven-day ketogenic weight loss on a low-carb diet book, Extra Easy Keto, whether it's in my original story that you read and inspired you, the Dirty Lazy Keto Get Started Losing Weight While Breaking All the Rules, this one here, whether... Either one of these books that have helped you or inspired you or our support group, let me know what's helping you the best. You know, this lifestyle doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be hard. It can be extra, extra easy and doable for everyone. So please know that I'm here to support you. I am here to help. And I'm so thankful that you spent a little time with me today watching and listening to this video about lunch keto salad to go. So I believe in you. I believe in you. I'm going to start dancing. I'm going to start singing. I believe in you, and be sure to stay tuned for that next video on YouTube about chocolate, keto, brownies, easy recipe, and give yourself a huge, 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 huge round of applause. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Huge, huge, huge round of applause. Round of applause. Round, 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 round. Clap, 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 clap. And if you saw my earrings today, gold star to you. Can you see what they are? They are a spoon and a fork. I got them in Spain and they are so cute. Special occasion wearing them for you guys today. Give yourself a round of applause.